Togozani, Togozani, Magwantu. So here you have it. The World Economic Forum is now calling for the use of AI to rewrite the Bible and to create what they are calling religions that are actually correct. Ninjani. So when we told you, at least I told you, that your three Abrahamic religions were created by men, Many of you thought I was crazy and you called me names. Well, here again goes said men about to rewrite what you consider the word of God and sacrosanct. They're about to rewrite it so that they can create religions that are actually correct. How long do you want to stay under this spell of Umlu? When we come on this app and in other places and we're telling you that the times we're in are serious and urgent. Get to know who you are. Know yourself. Align with nature the way your ancestors and forefathers were. Many of you call us crazy. And we're not here trying to recruit and trying to educate you. So in case somebody thinks this is a lie, you can go and Google WEC or EF, World Economic Forum, and look this article up. It's all there. What you are calling your holy book is not holy at all. What you are calling sacred scriptures, nothing sacred about those scriptures. They're about to be rewritten to create new religions that are actually correct. Because the religions now aren't fitting the narrative. And therefore aren't going to be able to manipulate people the way they want. So when I tell you that the Bible is a political tool to manipulate, you guys go nuts. But here's a case in point. We're moving from the age of Pisces. We're in the age of Aquarius, the age of the divine feminine. They don't like the winds of change. So they're going to create new religions that can manipulate people into becoming who they want them to be or to stay the way they want them to stay. And for what purpose you ask? So that they, Abelumbi, stay where? In economic power. That's why they used that tool to steal your forefather's land. And they used that tool to stay on that land while you're asleep. 